Hello everyone! Today we're taking a look at the eight pet battles in the Nazoth Assault Zones, and we're going to do them with only six max level pets. I'm Chowid with Rindar Gaming, and don't forget to hit the like and the sub button down below. You can come check me out over on twitch.tv on my new live stream if you have any questions. But let's check out how we're going to do this. To do these battles, you're going to need a character that has started the initial quest with Magni for the legendary back. Although at this point you can battle all the pets, there's really no reason to do them as there's no achievement for completing all of them and you get no rep until you've gone a bit farther into the quest line and are able to complete the assault quests and get the world quest out there. So really there's no reason to do these guys unless the world quest is up for them. I like to do these guys with minimal pets, so when I'm running around, killing the rares, getting my vision stuff, I can do the quest quickly, get my reward, and keep moving. So the six pets you're going to need are the Unborn Valkyr. She's a wild pet from the Northrend. There is always one up in each zone in Northrend, and it's extremely useful pet to keep around. I actually keep two, one of each breed. Icky is the next one. Good old Icky, you can't do strats without him. He's obtained from a short quest line in Spires of Iraq. He can also be found on the Auction House. The Zandalari Ankle Render and the Knee Biter need one of each or two of one of them. These guys can be farmed up from the Zandalari on the Isle of Giants in Panda, or you can pick them up on the Auction House for a few gold usually. You will also need the Mechanical Pandarian Dragonling. These guys are an engineer crafted pet. If you don't have an engineer with max level panda craft, you can pick them up on the auction house too. Last, you're going to need another fairy dragon. These guys are a wild caught pet from Phalaris. There are several breeds available and any of them will work, so just pick one up. All of these pet strats are designed with level 25 pets. The enemy pets do scale to the highest pet on your team, which is a really cool addition to these world quests so that anybody can do them. But these strats specifically are designed with pets that need to be at least level 20. If you guys would like to see a guide on doing these with lower level pets, level 1 or higher, let me know in the comments down below and I can put one together. So we're going to start out in the Vale in Panda, and we're going to start with K-Tiny the Mad. For this guy, you're going to need the Unborn Valkyr with Shadow Shock, Curse of Doom, and Haunt. You're also going to need those two Zandalari with Leap, Black Claw, and Haunting Party. So to start out, you're going to use a Shadow Shock. And then Mr. Tiny here is going to shield, so we're going to pass. Then we're going to throw out our Curse of Doom. And then Haunt. The Valkyr dies here, so we're going to bring in our ankle render. We're going to Black Claw, followed up with a Haunting Party. And he will block part of this Haunting Party, but that's fine. There we go. Super easy. If your ankle render dies, you'd bring in your other one and continue with Haunting Party. Make sure the Black Claw is up on there.
Next up is Tormentius. We're going to use the Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Haunt. And again, we're going to use the two Zandalari. We're going to use Leap, Black Claw, and Haunt on both of these guys. To start out the fight, send in your Unborn Valkyr and use Curse of Doom. You're going to follow that up with a Haunt. Gonna bring in one of these ankle renders. We're going to use Black Claw. Followed up with the Haunting Party. So our ankle render dies off here. And the Curse of Doom and Haunt should take this guy out, but if you need to use your second ankle render, you should be able to finish him off with a leap with that second ankle render. If not, use Black Claw and Haunting Party again. The Stone Defender is next. We're going to use the Unborn Valkyr once again. We're going to use Curse of Doom and Haunt on her. Then we're going to use Icky with Black Claw and Flock. I have a secondary Icky in my third slot here. You should be able to use any pet that has a good ability for damage. He's weak against undead, so that's always a good choice for a third slot pet. To start out, you once again start with your Unborn Valkyr, Curse of Doom, and of course Haunt directly after. We're then going to come in with one of these Ickies and Black Claw. And Flock. Our Curse of Doom and Haunt here finishes him off. If for some reason those don't finish him off, you'll want to use your third slot pet and use any good ability should finish him off for you there. Next, we're heading over to the Vilthic Hatchling. For him, we're going to use the Unborn Valkyr again. We're going to use Curse of Doom and Haunt once again. And here you're going to want to use your Nether Fairy Dragon. You want Arcane Blast and Life Exchange on this guy. I have my Zandalari in here just as a filler. You should be able to use any pet in your third slot. start this fight, the Unborn Valkyr starts with Curse of Doom. And of course, we're going to use Haunt. I'm going to bring in the Nether Fairy Dragon. 
We're going to Arcane Blast once. Followed up with a Life Exchange. And then we're going to continue to Arcane Blast. One more Arcane Blast here. <clears throat> Another Arcane Blast. And one more. Should finish him off here. Easy fight. So we're going to head over to Uldun next. And take a look at those pets. We're going to start with Routine Seeker. We're going to use the Unborn Valkyr with Shadow Shock, Curse of Doom, and Unholy Ascension for this one. You're also going to need Icky with Black Claw and Flock. In my third slot here, I have my secondary Icky. You could use any pet, preferably something that has a good Dragon Queen ability. So to start off this fight with the Unborn Valkyr, we're going to start with Curse of Doom. And then we're going to use a Shadow Shock. We don't want that Void Crash to hit our Ickies, so we're going to use Unholy Ascension here. And then that should hit after our Unborn Valkyr is dead. It's so going to bring out our Icky and Black Claw. and a flock. Now this could be a very close fight. If there is some RNG involved, you may have to use your third pet here. You see my Icky has two life here. So if this guy got a good crit, it could kill the Icky. But the Floyak and the Unholy Ascension should kill it off. Next up, we're heading to Blotto. blob over here. So for Blotto, we're going to use the Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Haunt. We're also going to use Icky with Black Claw and Flock. And you're going to want to put the Mechanical Pandarian Dragonling in your third slot here with Breath and Decoy. To start off with this fight, we're going to use Curse of Doom and a Haunt. And we're going to switch to our Icky. I'm going to use Black Claw. Followed up with a Flock. Now, if you get some really good crits, the flock will kill Blotto all on his own. But if you need to bring in your mechanical Pandarian Dragonling, you would decoy and breath until Blotto is dead.
Next up, we're heading to Whispers. We're going to use the Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Haunt, as well as Icky with Black Claw and Haunt. You should be able to use any pet in your third slot here. The Mechanical Pandarian is left over from the last fight that we did, so that's what I've got in mind. So we're going to start this fight out with the Unborn Valkyr and a Shadow Shock. Followed with a Curse of Doom. And a Haunt. We do that because we don't want those tendrils to hit our Icky. So Black Claw. Followed up with a Flock. That flock should kill Blotto off. Pretty easy day. So last, we're going to the queer sand crawler. Why Blizzard had to put enemies right on top of this guy, I don't know. But we're going to use the Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Haunt, as well as Icky again with Black Claw and Flock. Should again be able to use anything in your third slot. Again, the Pandarian is left over from the last fight, so that's what we've got in ours. So we're going to start this fight off with a Curse of Doom. And a haunt. We're going to bring Icky in. We're going to Black Claw. Followed up with a flock. And of course, he's going to be under underground here and he's going to miss some of this flock, but that is fine. We really want the Shattered Defenses debuff when the Curse of Doom goes off. That's the big deal. So the Flock should finish him off. If it doesn't, you should be able to use any other ability and it should kill him off. So we did them all with six pets. Not too bad if you're needing to grab a couple of pets for these guys to get the world quest done in the assault areas. Hopefully that helps you get them done, get a little bit more resources, min-max a little bit, however you're going to do that. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Or you can catch me in my live stream over at Trailwood Rose on Twitch TV. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked the video and it was helpful. And the sub button if you want some more of these videos. Thanks for watching again and happy adventuring. We'll see you next time.